All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy True and Fun. And today's day is Friday, October the 16th. Yes, this video will be out later on today. It's like 3:30 in the morning. Yeah. Speaking of the number three, I got three things to talk to you guys about. And one of them is good, one of them is bad, and the other one is What the hell was that? So yeah. Those are the three things I have to talk to you about. Let's start with the good. And the good involves Mega Evolution. So let's get straight into it. Trainers, two exciting updates has been made to Mega Evolutions just in time for October's Community Day. The duration that Pokemon stay in their Mega form, Mega Evolve form that is, has doubled from four hours to eight hours. The cap for Mega Energy have increased from 999 to 2000. This limit applies to each individual type of Mega Energy, not the total amount of Mega Energy you have across Pokemon species. Stay tuned for additional updates in the coming weeks. Let's go! Please be aware of your blah 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 sign at the Pokemon Go team. So this is really big. This is really, really big. So I'm the one who said a number of weeks, really a number of months back, that four hours ain't cutting it. You know, I thought it should be 12 hours. But eight hours, I would totally take that. That's the appropriate amount of time our Pokemon should stay Mega Evolve for them. Because, you know, we'll talk, I don't really involve in any of my Mega Pokemon unless it's for the Dex or for Raid Hour when I know it's going to be useful. And since we got Giratina, it's like, there's, I mean, you got Houndoom, but, or Houndoom rather, but I mean, eh, I don't have a really good one, nor do I have one maxed out. And I have better counters that are maxed out. Now, in terms of the whole from 999 to 2000, that's a good thing too. Especially with them Charmanders. Because of Charmander community today, I mean, you know, stuff like that, you know, whatever. But yeah, that is a very good thing. That's an additional bonus. So this was the good news. Now let's get on to the bad news. And believe it or not, it involves Grubhub. Yeah, and I'm calling it bad news for those of you who do know what it is. Let's get in with it. Trainers, we're excited to announce that we're partnering with our friends at Grubhub to give trainers in the United States the opportunity to take part in an exclusive event. Trainers will be available to participate in a special weekend event. Don't miss your chance to take part in this exciting in-game event. Starting today, or yesterday, October 15th, trainers in the United States can sign up to take part in an exclusive event, the Special Weekend. Ooh, what a fancy name that is. The Special Weekend. Ooh. Let's move on. Trainers who submitted their email here and join Grub, uh, I can't talk, Grub Hub Plus, the membership offering one-of-a-kind rewards for the food and restaurants they love, will get a ticket to the event while supplies last. As Grub Hub Plus members, trainers can enjoy unlimited free delivery from their favorite restaurants, exclusive member perks, and more. Tickets are limited to one per Pokemon Go account and will be available until October 28th. Learn more here. You can click on the link there. The tickets provide trainers access to event exclusive time research and special Pokemon attracted to incense on Sunday, November 8, 2020 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time anywhere in the United States. Upon a ticket redemption, players participating will receive an exclusive event badge. Features. Complete the event time research to earn three incense, a star piece, and 100 Charizard Mega Energy, as well as encounters with Chansey, Spoink, Marwa, Bronzer, Gibble and Serato. Okay. All of those Pokemon, with the exception of the Serato, if memory says it correctly, their shiny forms are in the game. So, that Gibble, yeah, that's going to be the one that a lot of people are going to be looking for. Spoink, I think, would be up there as well. Maybe Bronzon, maybe Marwell, and maybe Chansey. So, those are a lot of good shinies that they're offering right there. Again, Serato is shiny form, if memory says it correctly, it's not in the game. But that's a good light about if I do say so myself. But let's continue on reading this. The following Pokemon will be attracted to incense during the event. Bulbasaur, Charizard, Squirtle, Pikachu, Unknown G, Unknown H, Sableye, Patrat, Michio, and Feral Seed. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Feral Seed. Please note that Shiny Unknown will not be appearing during this event. 
Incense activated during the event will last for one hour. So the Pokemon that I just listed, those will be the ones that would be basically spawning from Incense while the previous list, you know, the Chanseys and the Gibble, those apparently will be spawning in the route. So looking at that list, aside from the unknown G and the H, I mean, that's, that's a decent list because Bulbasaur can be shiny, even though he had his own community day. Squirtle can be shiny, although he could have his own community day already. Pikachu, same thing. The unknowns, they won't be shiny, so we all know that the unknowns will not be shiny. Sableye can be shiny. Pat Rat can be shiny. Michio can be shiny. And Felicity is the new one. That's the one that everybody will be going after. But amongst everything in the list, it's really all about Felicity. Everything else is like bland for the most part, unless you don't have a shiny Pikachu for some odd reason. But aside from that, it's all about fair seed there. And again, no shiny unknowns for this event, which is a good thing because a lot of people, especially those outside the US, will be extremely upset if they cannot get the opportunity to do this event. But let's move on. How to get a ticket? You can attain a ticket for the special weekend by completing the following actions by October 28th while supply lasts. Submit your email on the special weekend page. You will then receive the email from Grubhub within 48 hours. If you're new to Grubhub Plus, sign up for a Grub, Grubhub Plus trial using the link in the email and following the prompts. Special weekend tickets will be sent out starting on November 4th via an email from Grubhub. Eligibility. Tickets are available to new and current Grubhub Plus members. Trainers who are new to Grubhub Plus must join using the link in the email described above. And will also receive a 14-day free trial through this promotion. Trainers who are currently Grubhub Plus members must only submit their email address on the special weekend event page by October 28th in order to register for this promotion and receive the ticket. Tickets will be sent out starting on November 4th. More information about the process and eligibility can be found here. Only one code can be redeemed per Pokemon Go account. Codes are personal and cannot be transferred only available in the U.S. Tickets redemption will be available on the Niantic Redemption Portal from Wednesday, November 4th. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to Sunday, November 8th at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You'll be able to redeem the promotional code, including the ticket on our Offer Redemption website. Visit this Help Center article for more information on how to redeem promotional codes. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. All right. Now, there was some more fine print, I guess, on the email, so we could take a look at that real quick, because I believe that is very important. So if you go to that email page where you go to, you know, fill out the email, that stuff like that, it don't say anything in terms of, okay, you did the 14 day free trial thing and then you cancel. Cause you can't cancel at any time. You just have to manually cancel it yourself. Otherwise it's going to start charging you, which is $10 a month. So I don't know if you were to do it right now and then you cancel, you know, 14 days, do you still get the ticket on November 4th? I don't know. So if you really want to be cautious about this, so let's see, today's the 16th, so you have, I, I, let's say the fifth, let's, let's play, let's play the fifth, okay. So we got, I would probably say you should do this on the, on October the 20th. You should probably do this on October the 20th, sign up to the Grubhub joint, and then you should get an email two days, within two days after you signed up. And then on the fourth, you should get a ticket saying, yo, Here's your redeem code, you put that joint in, and then you cancel your free trial membership to Grub, Grubhub Plus, and then you should be good. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Uh, I may just sign up, you know, as soon as possible because of the whole wild supplies last part. So if you wanna risk it like I do, I mean, then knock yourselves out. And then, you know, if we all take a bullet, it's just $10 for one month, and then you cancel after that. So. Then, then this is why this is the bad news part because you have to sign up for something to take part in a, what apparently will be a pretty decent event actually. No, the unknowns will not be shiny, but this is still a pretty decent event if I do say so myself. And the fact that you have to sign up to take part in this event and the fact that the rest of the world can't take part in this event is trash in my opinion. I think, you know, it's messed up, but you can't blame Niantic. For this one, you can't blame the Pokemon company for this one. You, you may have to look at Grubhub for this one because again, based on what I heard, Grubhub went to Niantic and said, yo, we want to do a partnership. We want some of your players to use our Grubhub Plus membership. So let's do this. 
And I just said, okay, let's go. I'm so, so either it's that or they say no, we don't get an event. I mean, so that's why this is the bad news right here. Now this is the what the heck is this news right here. Check this out. Trainers, Halloween is right around the corner and ghost type Pokemon will be appearing more often. It's time to put your catching skills to the test during the Catch Mastery Ghost event. Sunday, October 25th from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. local time, uh, Drip Bloom will be appearing more often in the wild. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny one. There will be exclusive time research available only during this event. Complete event exclusive field research tasks to encounter ghost type Pokemon and earn Gengar Mega Energy. During this event, you will earn additional XP when catching Pokemon with nice, great, excellent, and curveball throws. It's time to show the ghost type Pokemon that we're not afraid of them, no matter how spooky they might be. Catching as many as you can, trainer, before they get a chance to scare you off. They, as in the uh, Drip Loom, since that's the only ghost type that's going to be out there. Please be ready your surroundings, blah, 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 sign Pokemon Go team. Okay. Now, when we think of the Halloween event, we think in more than one ghost type Pokemon, more than one dark type Pokemon spawning all over the place. We think in a, a spooky wave balls, you know, like a ghost wave balls or a dark type wave balls, something along those lines. We think in a special research task. We think in spirit tune. We think in crazy bonuses that involves candy. We thinking arguably the greatest Pokemon Go event of the year. Let's be honest. I don't know what the heck that is. I don't know what the heck that is. Can somebody explain to me what the heck that is? And that's why this is the what the heck news right here. Because I have no clue what the heck that is. Hey, what the hell? Now granted, it's only for one day. There could be more in the days after. So who knows? That's a possibility. Keep that in mind. There's no way that this right here is the Halloween event and that's it. That could be like a prelude to the real Halloween event, which I have to wait and see. But for now, I'm going to call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. New Stimulate Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. What the hell was that? <laughs> Thanks, man. <Mr. laughs> After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint. With my tongue, I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm a hit and move away.